everyone welcome to the eyeshadow video so I'm gonna show you guys how to do eyeshadow how to do eyeshadow how to do eyeshadow and how to put it on and the best ways the best techniques and um, some good tips and tricks and uh, so yeah let's get right into it when you think of eyeshadow you usually think of it in a palette or in a little pan um, individual eyeshadow but there's actually a lot more um, eyeshadows than just powder eyeshadows there's also there's cream eyeshadows and there's pigments and cream eyeshadows um, usually you will wear those as a base to make sure your eyeshadows increase but they can also just be a good um, wash of color on your lid and pigments um, I have this pigment oh, I have, actually I have a couple here these ones from L'Oreal Infallible are my favorite specifically the one in Amber Rush um, these are more of like an oily sort of pigment, but um, there's also these ones from NYX. This is this one is in the color Copper. These are really pretty and they're going to give you really vibrant colors and really um, bright and really pigmented. That's hence why they're called pigments. Let's jump right into how to apply eyeshadow. So now that I have you guys a little bit closer so you can see what's going on, when it comes to eyeshadow, you always want to start with the base um, to make sure that your eyeshadow does not crease. So you can start with um, an eyeshadow primer. Um, there's a lot of them that Too Faced has one, there's drugstore ones, there's um, there's ones, so many of them. Um, but I'm what I usually like to do is just use my concealer as a base, and that works just as well as any other eyeshadow primer. Jump right into how to apply eyeshadow. So I'm just going to go in with this Maybelline concealer and put this on my okay. eyelids. So now that I have you guys a little bit closer so you can see what's going on, when it comes to eyeshadow, you always want to start with the base um, to make sure that your eyeshadow does not crease. So you can start with um, an eyeshadow primer. Um, there's a lot of them. That Too Faced has one. There's drugstore ones. There's um, there's ones, so many of them. Um, but I'm what I usually like to do is just use my concealer as a base, and that works just as well as any other eyeshadow primer. And so I'm just going to go in with this Maybelline concealer and put this on my eyelids. Okay. I'm going to take my ring finger and just blend that out all over my lid. And I like to bring it up just a little bit higher for when we blend out the eyeshadow and then just a little bit underneath for when you put um, the eyeshadow underneath the lower lash line. Bring it underneath just a little bit and make sure that's nice and blended. Awesome, that's going to be a great base for us. So now, that's also going to get rid of um, if you have veins on your eyes or if your eyes are more blue. That's just going to get rid of that. Okay. What you want to do when you're putting on eyeshadow is you always want to start, especially if you're doing um, like stuff in the crease, you always want to start with um, light colors first to... Um, because it's going to, they're called transition colors. And they're going to make your eyeshadow just go on so much easier. So I'm going to take my Morphe 350 palette, and they have so many nice transition colors here. I'm going to be taking this color right here and put that in my crease. And that's going to act as a nice base for when I go and put in darker shadows. So you're going to want to put this in and just blend this out really nicely. And that's going to act as an awesome base. So it's not putting a lot of color, just a little bit. Awesome, so now that we have that in the crease, we're gonna go with another one, another light one, this one right here in the same palette and just put that in the crease as well. And we're just going to start bringing that up just a little bit higher. Same color. The other eye. Bring it up, see how we blend it up just a little bit more onto that brow bone. Next we're going to go in with an even darker shade and we're going to take this kind of taupey brownish gray and put that into the crease. And notice how we slowly 
are building up the color to eventually get to that dark color that we want in the, in the, on the lip. And this just ensures that all your eyeshadow blends nicely together and that there's no harsh lines. Oh, and by the way, I'm using this brush, this double set, this double ended brush by Ego Tools. All right, then we're gonna go in with an even darker shade, and we're gonna be using we're gonna be using this brown, which one? This brown right here, and put that in the crease as well on the same brush. I'm gonna start nice and light because we don't want to pack it on too heavy. Make sure you're not pressing too hard, you're lightly testing in windshield wiper motions. So back and forth, blending is key. All right, next I'm gonna, we're gonna go in with the darkest color and I'm gonna go in with this brush that was in the Naked Smoky palette and I'm gonna use this end, I don't know if you can see, I'm gonna use this end of the brush, not the blending part, but this smaller pencil edge. I'm gonna take a little bit of this really dark shade here, this brown right here, and I'm gonna put that just straight in the crease, okay? And we're just gonna really pack that on there and then we'll blend it out. So just out in the, in the outer V. And this is going to give that really nice and smoky effect. So you want to bring it just a little tiny bit into the corner, that's what I like to do, to make that V. I cannot find any of my brushes today. I'm going to take this Morphe blending brush, the M330, talk about this, I use this one all the time, and we're just going to blend, because right now this is kind of harsh, so we're just going to blend all of that out and make sure that there's no harsh lines. So again, windshield wiper motions and little circles. So when you do this, it makes your eyeshadow not as intense. And if that's what you're going for, then after this you can just stop, but I like to make it nice and dark, so I'm probably going to end up applying a little bit more to just darken it up a little bit. Okay, and you just want to blend that out really nice. So I'm just going to go in with this blending brush and take a little bit of that dark color. Take a little bit of that same dark color, this one here, and just a little bit on my brush, blend that blend that out. Keeping this in the crease and above. Not gonna want to you're not gonna want to bring that down too far onto the lid. Okay, awesome. Now that we've done that, what I like to do, a little trick of mine, it's kind of a well-known trick, um, is to take a little bit of contact solution. So I'm just gonna use this Opti Free Pure Moist um, contact solution and I'm gonna put it on one of my small shadow brushes. This small shadow brush right here. I'll get off extra from when I use this last. And I'm gonna put just a little bit of this contact solution on the back of my hand, like one drop, and dip my brush in there. Get kind of wet. You don't want it soaking wet, but you want it pretty wet. And then um, Okay, and then I'm going to go in with this super, super pretty color right here in the Morphe 350 palette. I'm going to put that all over the lid, just on the lid, not wanting to go up any higher into the crease. And the same thing on the other eye, keeping it nice and low. You just want to make sure that's super, super vibrant because I love a good sparkly eye. Or 
good shimmery eye, I should say. Awesome, okay. We're gonna go in with that back, we're gonna go back into that Morphe brush and just blend this all together. Not too much, because you don't wanna pick up too much of that eyeshadow. You just wanna make sure that it's nice and blended. And I'm gonna go back again into that Morphe palette and take that same brown and go into the crease a little bit just to make a little bit, just to make it a little bit darker and to make sure that that champagne white blends really nicely. Because sometimes you can have it go up just a little bit over the crease and then it doesn't look so nice. You want it nice and dark there. you have the main part of your eyes done we're gonna go in with a smudging brush and I'm not going to use this as a smudge I'm gonna use this to pick up some of that um, some of that dark color again back into Morphe 350 pick up that darkest brown shade and put that underneath my water under and put that underneath my lash line on the outer corner of my eye just where we put we're not gonna bring it all the way in because we don't want it, that's gonna close off the eyes we're gonna well, just this little part of it just to match what we have up top and this is a, the smudging brush is great for this because it's going to make it look nice and smoky so again not bringing that all the way over to the inner corner but so now that it's nice and smoky we're going to go in that same brush, wipe it off on your hand. And I'm gonna go in with that champagne, that champagne white. And put that on the very inner corner here. And that's just going to match what we have on the top, like on the lid. Just to make sure it looks the same. Okay. Awesome. So Gonna go back and just blend a little bit more because blending is our best friend. Make sure that it all looks super seamless. I feel like this eye is a little bit darker, so I'm gonna darken up this one a little bit. And then you are all done with eyeshadow. So, bye guys.